I was waiting for my phone to charge and it was taking a really long time so I was like fuck it I'm just gonna plug in my phone and charge it while I work <laughs> so I hope this works all right so um, this is going to be a general reading for Aries Ooh. it was a little bug I didn't kill it trust me I just it scared me <laughs> so I shoot it out of the way um, but this is going to be a love reading for Aries. Hi, Aries. Okay, my beautiful fire signs. So I have, um, this is one of the first tarot decks that I ever bought when I was 15. So I literally still have it. <laughs> they're really worn down. You can't tell in the camera, but yeah, they're, they're pretty. All right. And I'm, um, I'm going to be 42 in July, so had that deck a really long time um and then I also have my good old trusty rider weight and I have um my spirit message deck the one that I made on the Marilyn Monroe um just deck of cards I have my angels and ancestors deck that I'm going to be using for your spirit message and I have this deck that this is uh the love deck, I'm going to be using this for your shadows, if you have any shadows, of course. Um, and before I get started, Aries, I just, you know, I love this bracelet. I, for me, I love the sound. Can you guys hear it? Um, I love the way it feels on my wrist. There's a million, there's like a million, there is a million, see these? Um, <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me. I have my air conditioner on, it's hot, and I'm not doing any care without it, so. Uh, what am I saying? What, else? what was I saying? I got distracted. Oh my god, I, have, I swear I have ADD. <laughs> Anyways, my friend Ruth, um, Ruth Ann, Ruth Earth Angel, gave me these as a gift, and I swear I'm obsessed. Like, I, I didn't try them on for a really long time, and then I tried them on, like, I want to say a month ago. And I have not taken them off since. I'm just obsessed. I wear these anytime I go out, um, anytime I do tarot, because when you shuffle, oh, the sound is so amazing. <laughs> You're shuffling. In. Okay, so I just wanted to say that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let's, let's start out with the tarot. We're going to start out with the tarot first. Oh, you know what? I didn't get my Who Oracle. I need that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pause this so I can get my Who Oracle. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that, Aries. I had to get my Who Oracle. Um, I, I don't know, left it in the bedroom or something. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Okay, I gotta get my shit together. Okay, okay. We're gonna start with this cord. It's gonna get on my nerves. Hopefully my phone will charge very quickly so we can just. All right, reading now for Aries. Now, if you're new to my channel, just know whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. If you are a past subscriber, oh, thank you and welcome back. All right, what is going on? There's a hair somewhere on my arm or something. You know that feeling? Oh my God, you guys, it drives me nuts. Okay, Aries, what does Aries need to know about their love life at this time? <sighs> Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's do four of these and four of the Rider Wave, please. Ready now for Aries. All right. Whoa, what's going on, Aries? Two more, please, Spirit. There, the air went off, so if you guys couldn't hear me. So I see some nice balancing going on in your love life. But I also see some massive anxiety and depression.
Hmm. Whoa, how did that come out in reverse? Oh my goodness. All of these cards are right side up. That always mystifies me when that happens, dude. It's so strange. I found one that was, other one that was flipped. Hold on, Aries. I just want to make sure that these are all right side up now. Feel free to fast forward. Sorry. King of Cups. Okay, well, you know, normally I always make sure the deck is right side up. I haven't used this deck in a really long time. Most of them, they're all right side up, except for there was two other than that one, the King of Cups. But there are no accidents, so if it came out in reverse, you know. But I can tell you right now, Aries, you have gotten... Now, keep in mind this isn't going to resonate with everyone because it's just a general reading. But you have just recently, I feel like, for those of you that are in a relationship, that were in a relationship, I feel like this stress and anxiety um, comes from you just releasing a relationship with someone who was very... I don't even know how to say this. So their energy feels very bitchy. Does that make sense? Um, I feel like they were expecting you to give so much to the relationship and they didn't give anything. So the balance felt off and you were working so hard on keeping your equilibrium and keeping your balance that you started seeing this person and, you know, you you didn't really want to let it go. And you had a lot of sleepless nights over it. But you, in the end, you, you felt like you had to. You had to because the give and take was off. You felt like you were giving way more than they were giving. And, you know, they weren't grateful. They were bitchy all the time and sort of just irritated with you all the time. Um... I don't know. I want to say even like snobbish and I don't know. It's their energy just feels really off. Um, you know, for some of you, this person was just like downright nasty at times. And I feel like you were just, you wanted to stick it out, but it was, it just wasn't worth it in the end. So I don't know if that's going to resonate with anyone, but that's what's coming out. So I hope that, um, I hope that you don't think you made the wrong decision because I'm seeing that you are, you did make the right decision. Um, this would have just... I'm going to pull some more cards on it, but I, I think you would have um, been miserably unhappy like if you would have stayed. So I'm going to pull... Actually, I shuffled the right away, but I'm going to... I can still... There's the hair. I'm going to pull... Let me pull two more cards from this deck just to see what Spirit wants us to know about this situation. Oh, okay. So you may have been dealing with another fire sign um, or, or possibly a water sign. Um... But basically, you guys didn't, I guess it could have been any sign, but they're, they're, they're coming out as having a lot of um, fire in their chart. So, you know, because they're the person, I mean, we got the emperor, so this could be your energy that's coming out. But it also feels um, like this could be your person's energy, like, but it's not like the emperor in a good way. This is the emperor, like, if the emperor is, when it's, was in reverse. So, like, fire sign energy, but all the negative aspects of a fire sign, if that makes sense. Um, the next card that came out after that is the sun. So, you made the right decision. Now, moving forward, Aries, you're going to have a lot of happier days. So, all right. So, let me show you the cards as they came out. So, this was the two of pentacles, which helped me to see that, you know, you guys 
your balance is really important to you and keeping balance in your life is really important to you. And I see that you are working very hard to get every aspect of your life together and in balance. And then, you know, we had the nine of swords. So a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety because of this whole, this six of pentacles. Like I said, the give and take being off in the relationship. Um, the six of pentacles came out with the king of cups in reverse. So again, this person was being very nasty with you. Um, probably doing a lot of bullying and Aries is definitely not going to stand for that. Um, you know, it caused this anxiety because you didn't really want to let it go because you felt like you had a really good connection with this person, but you know, the balance was off, you know, and balance is important to you, obviously. So, and also the King Cups in reverse shows me that this person really wasn't opening up to you like they should have, you know, and then we had, did I already show you the King of Cups? Yeah. So, and then we had the Emperor and the Sun. So, like I said, it feels to me like you made the right decision. We're going to go on and pull some cards from the Rider Waite. Okay, I don't want these to be in reverse. So let me make sure I got these the right way. Okay. All right, reading for Aries still. What's going on with this deck? Reading still for Aries. What do our Aries need to know, please? Now, I don't know if they're going to tell me more about your situation or if we're going on to singles. And I'll be able to tell by what cards they give me. So, we'll go on. Okay. Four cards, please. It's hot now that the air turned off. Whoops. I got it on, like, energy savers, so... Like saves energy, so it's better for the environment. Wow, see, we got six of pentacles again. So, there's definitely this. Hold on one second, I'm so thirsty. You would not believe how thirsty a lot of talking makes you. <laughs> All right, we have Six of Pentacles again. One more card, please, fairies. Wow, okay. So you really, it keeps coming up a lot. You really feel like this person... You really feel like this person left you out in the cold. We had six of pentacles and then five of pentacles came out right afterwards. See, it's this feeling of literally it's, a, it's two people out in the cold. So there's this feeling of like they just... It's almost like you were really surprised by this. Like you didn't expect that it was going to turn out how it did. And it, when it did, you were just like, what the hell? Um, but I feel like something massive happened and you sort of couldn't deny it anymore. And you were like, okay, there's no denying that this is not a healthy relationship. You know, because we got, we have Ace of Swords, which shows me that you had some sort of breakthrough and you were just like, I cannot do this anymore. And then we have the Six of Pentacles again. So it's showing me that, you know, you were feeling like you were giving way too much and you just were not getting enough back. You know, you were oftentimes feeling very lonely and sad. And, you know, Aries, you guys are, we have the Emperor and the Empress. So for you single Aries, you guys have a counterpart coming in. There's no doubt of that. This right here shows me, this is this is Aries energy right here. Aries, you are never going to let anyone like pull one over on you. You're never going to, um, you know, take anyone's shit. You're just like, hell no. Like I'm not, that's not happening, you know. And so 
that's why I feel like you were very quick to be like, no, like this is not working out and sort of go your way. One second. Okay, that's a lot better. That light was really bright and it was in my eyes. So I was just like, I got to do something about that. Okay, so let's see your next steps. And then we're going to move on to different portion. Can we get a final message for the Aries getting out of this relationship, please? All right, so we're, we got the hermit. <laughs> so you guys are going to be spending some time alone, and that's okay. That's what you need to do for, to heal from this. You know, I, I see that you're doing lots of healing. Um lots of self-work lots of self-love some um enlightened um aspects coming up for you you know working on yourself doing some quiet time by yourself some maybe some meditating okay all right and some manifesting woohoo you go, Aries. Oh, by the way, as I'm filming this, it is the Gemini moon, full moon. So happy Gemini moon. All right, let's pull some quick cards for our singles. Because I feel like that was a message just for the those that were kind of, or, you know, in a relationship or just came out of one. Do we have any message for Aries singles, please? Four cards for Aries singles. Do we have anything coming up for them? I hate to leave the singles out. What is that? Oh, a little moth. You scared me. <laughs> a little moth literally flew into my tarot deck as I was shuffling. And I, I don't know how he missed my shuffle, but he did. <laughs> so funny. Hello, darling. Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, I think he flew up there. Okay, four cards for Aries singles, please. One... Why is, why did that come out in reverse? This is crazy. There he is. He's back. Hi, darling. Okay. Um. Again, I'm going through these to see. They're all right side up. Good Lord. But that one came out in reverse. Isn't that amazing how spirit can do that? I swear to God, they still amaze me every freaking time they do it. just nuts whoa what happened here okay two more please so what the hell just happened here i have no idea uh one more for our single aries please for our singles you do have somebody that is interested in you, you single Aries, but I don't see. Oh, okay. They might come through with an offer. <laughs> All right. So we got 10 of swords in reverse. Um, you literally, okay. So for those of you singles, I feel like you guys just came out of like a period of healing as well because 10 of swords, you know, right side up is like feeling like you hit rock bottom it's sort of like this feeling of like okay um it, it's just this this feeling of everything just being too much it's like lots of endings right um sometimes i call it the death card because it feels like you're dying <laughs> it's like heavy transformation metamorphosis energy right it's like death and if it look if you look at it, it looks like the guy's dead. I mean, he is dead. He's got ten swords in his goddamn back. Nobody's gonna survive that shit. But in reverse, it means like massive healing and trauma releasing. So whatever it is that you have been there's so many bugs going around that um light. So whatever it is, I'm sorry, here I am distracted again. Whatever it is that you went through, you know, you you healed it and good for you. It, it shows me that. You know, like I said, our healing journey is never done, but you basically nailed that lesson, whatever it was in regards to your love life. And I see you ready to move forward. Okay. Um, 
Now, keep in mind, this is for Aries singles, okay? So, I do see someone that is keeping tabs on you. We have Page of Pentacles. You know, this is my Watcher card. So, they're studying you. They're watching you. They're trying to figure out when they're going to make their move, right? And I feel like the reason they haven't came forward right now is because of this. This is the Two of Pentacles. And, by the way, this came out also for Aries, um, for um are sort of entangled Aries, right? <laughs> Those who had just came out of a relationship or, you know, were were dating someone, had someone on their mind. Okay, so if you have someone in mind, Aries, they're watching you. They haven't came forward yet because they're trying to figure out a way to balance their energy in their life and before they can come forward. I hope that makes sense. But when they do... It's going to be something big. This is Six of Wands. So this is my card of public recognition. Not like public recognition. Like I'm talking about in love. So public, a public something. Okay. So um, a public um, announcement. Like they're going to uh, somehow, they will publicly let you know that they're into you. Okay. So maybe they'll ask you out on your Facebook page or, you know, I don't know. But. I don't. I have no idea how they're gonna do it. Maybe they'll write you a song and play it on their Instagram page. I don't know. But this is something public. It's gonna be big and it's gonna be huge. And you're not gonna, you know, um, you're not gonna have any doubt, okay? <laughs> because it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be a huge, big deal when they let you know they're into you. Let me. I'm just gonna say that. Okay. So let's do um, some spirit messages for you from my spirit deck. This reading's already got too, way too long, so we're going to try to hustle and move along. All right. What do we got? We got any spirit messages for Aries? We're going to do your shadows after this, and then we'll do the Who Oracle. Okay? Let's get two spirit messages for them from this one. I also have another spirit deck when you use my angels and oracles, but... Two cards for Aries, please. What do you want our Aries to know? bugs galore we have aquarius so for some of you your partner will be an aquarius you are thinking about an aquarius right now you have an aquarius on your mind and straight hair Oof. we have aquarius and straight hair i don't know take it how it resonates those are going to mean something to somebody. All right. Let's do... Ooh, did I say shadows or who? I don't know. Whatever. Let's do your shadow deck. <laughs> so if you have any shadows, this will let me know what those shadows are, Aries. Mm -mm -mm. In regards to your love life, okay? Aries. What do we got for Aries? My beautiful fire sign, Aries. What do we got? Hmm. Shit, hold on, that flew out. There's just 333 on my phone. Okay. So the card that flew out is, is a shadow card. It's number 62, naivety. So it's a problem of being too naive. If you add up 6 and 2, it comes to 8. So this could be for a life path person, number 8. Whoa. Can we get four cards, please? Okay, so the shadow of naivety is the, a shadow of being too trusting and too naive, thinking that someone is something like a prince or a knight in shining armor or, you know, this really good person um, or, you know, someone that doesn't or whatever and they actually are the exact opposite so it's basically being too trusting thinking someone's an angel and they're really a devil like so we got ouch we got I just hit my hand we got three shadow cards and one um luck card well it's a healing card so it's not a shadow so this was the first shadow which is being too naive if you look the female is 
thinking that this guy that she's dating is an angel and really he's a devil. He's seeing another girl behind her back. <laughs> so clearly he's not what she thinks he is. And that is a shadow of being too naive. You know, wanting, it's almost this card of like illusion, like believing in something that's not true. Believing somebody is something that they're not. So how we fix that shadow is by facing the reality of the situation instead of facing the illusions that we want to believe. Okay. So it's literally facing it head on, no matter how much it hurts or how much it, um, hello, little, little buggy. Oh, or this is fruit flies like all over. It's the season, right? They're getting in. We got the air conditioner. So they get in. So it's basically this, you know, needing to sort of face everything head on, no matter, um, no matter what, no matter if it's going to hurt or if it's going to, you know, feel bad still to face that and, you know, to, um, let it pass through you and let it go so it doesn't hinder your progress, Aries. All right, and then we also have number uh, 82, holding on. If you add it up, it's 10. So add that and it's one. Um, you have a choice here to make, to have a new beginning. Um, if you're willing to let go of things that no longer serve you, things that need to stay in your past and move forward into the future. So this um, energy of holding on, there is a female and she's holding on to this male's pant leg and she's basically begging him to stay, even though, you know, she might know that this person is all wrong for her, but yet she's still trying to hold on to this person. So this energy is an energy of needing something. You're trying to take something from the person and make them give you something. And so they might not like that energy because they feel like you're trying to take from them. Even if you're not trying to take from them, they literally feel like, um, you know, this person is, is wanting something from me. And so, Most likely, they're not going to want to give to that energy because it's going to feel um, scary for them, you know? So anytime you cling to something and say, give me, give me, then, you know, they're going to feel empty because they're going to feel like they're giving and giving and giving to you. And they're going to feel like no matter what I give, I can't fill up, you know, this cup. So... To heal that shadow, what we need to do is we need to fill up our own cups and be happy in our own life and focus on ourselves. And once our cup is full, we don't need anyone to fill our cup because then we're like, bitch, my cup, my, my cup full. <laughs> so I don't need you to fill up my empty cup because I got me. So, and then it makes you more desirable. And, you know, the energy of sort of neediness and clinginess is not a good energy to be in. It can lower your vibration. So, you know, that then, you know, that makes you less attractive to your person. You know what I mean? So, and nobody likes that energy anyway. So you, you want to try to stay away from that energy. And like I said, um, fill up your cup. So, okay. So, and the last shadow that we have is fear of commitment. <laughs> so it's like a catch 22. It's like, I want you, I don't want you to leave me, but then you're like, I'm really don't want to commit to you though. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh Lord. So, um, Number 84, it's 12, right? 8 and 4. And then you add 2 and 1, and that's 3. Our moth front is back. Hello. So, um, 3. It's number 3. To heal the shadow of commitment. Fear. To, I'm sorry. To heal the shadow of fear of commitment, you need to commit to yourself. Commit to loving yourself and therefore you will not be afraid to commit to anyone because you'll be committed to yourself. Therefore, committing to yourself lets you know that 
when you are committed to yourself, you cannot make any mistakes in regards to your judgment because you are committed to making sure that you are happy first, no matter what. Therefore, you can't go wrong because if someone is making you unhappy and you're committed to yourself, then you commit to saying goodbye to them because you're committed to your happiness. Get it? So, you know, if you're with someone and they make you happy, then of course, you know, in order to stay committed to yourself, you're going to stay committed to this happy person, right? You know, okay. So there's that. All right. So we have number four receiving. This is not a shadow. This is just showing. <laughs> it's a little moth that um oh my ears are ringing hold on spirit messages it's not the end of the road aries that's what they just said it's not the end of the road it's just the beginning okay i don't know that's gonna be for someone whenever my ears ring i know to listen and <laughs> I used to not be able to hear anything and now the messages come through loud and clear. clear. Okay, so Aries, this card is about receiving a gift. So be prepared to receive something big and spectacular from someone. Um, it's going to be nice. It could be from, you know, from the divine. It could be from um, another partner. It could be from a best friend. Or, you know, a neighbor. But it's going to be something big. Okay. So, we're going to move on to your Who Oracle. And then your Spirit Message. I feel like this already got way too long. And I don't know why, but it feels like I'm losing my voice. It's weird. Okay. So, let's pull from the Who Oracle. Okay. Can we get some traits for Aries, please? For Aries. How will they be able to know their person, please? Oh, this little moth be loving my tarot energy. Look, he's flying all around me. Oh, that's too ready. All right, where? <laughs> Three cards, please. Ah, I almost squished you. <laughs> you landed right where I was going to put that card. Okay, so we have Nurturer. And that's so nice, Aries. So for those of you that just got out of this really rocky relationship, um, you know, to have a nurturing person in your corner is, is going to be, it's going to mean the world to you when you're healing right now. Okay. <laughs> we have nurturer. We have body art. So we got some tattoos, you know, your person probably has tattoos and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with tattoos bitch you know I love me some tattoos it says medium or dark hair so I don't know what that means medium hair so maybe like medium length I don't know medium or dark hair okay so there you go alright that's gonna that's gonna be some little traits you can look out for we're gonna do your spirit message and then we're gonna call this video forward whoa listen to your little moth um i love your energy too but i do not want you to get squished so i'm gonna need you to stay away from me every time i shuffle he like try he or she tries to get in my shuffle and then when i go to lay down a card like goes to like um lay down like right where i'm gonna lay the card and i'm like no don't do that because if I lay down the card too hard and I don't see him or her, I might squish them. Okay, can we get the final message for Aries, please? Final message for Aries. What you got? Right, this is a great card. Father Sky, trust in the unknown. So I just recently got this card um, for myself in a personal reading that I did for myself. So I am fully aware of what this card means. So this card is about having a literal, direct connection to the divine father figure in the sky. So 
what um, most people would refer to as God, you know, the male, um, the male persona of God. Um, so it, it is the basically the male um, deity version of God, um, source, whatever you want to call that higher divine being in the sky. Excuse me, it can also represent like a literal father figure that you might have in heaven. If for some of you who have lost your father, then this could be, you know, your literal dad in heaven trying to reach out to you and letting you know that you are loved. But the thing that stood out to me is it said that you have a direct connection to um, God, um, the male archetype, male archetype, the male archetype of God, and they feel a special connection with you. And so this Aries is a very special card to get. That means that, um, God is literally looking out for you, um, you know, himself, <laughs> taking time out of his day <laughs> to connect with you on a very personal basis. And that is absolutely beautiful to me. When I read that, like I got tears in my eyes and I said, that's phenomenal. So um, at this moment, you are healing father issues as well. And keep an eye out for messages from your divine because um, he is sending you messages consistently um about your love life and about your life in general and you know he wants you to know that you are not alone right now and you are very loved no matter what path you are walking so that's all i got for you aries i hope you enjoyed your reading um i have some new products in my etsy shop um so for those of you who who's <laughs> fruit flies flying all over. For those of you that do not know, I have a new product in my Etsy shop. It's called Chakra Bunny Sexy Soak. I have contacts in and they're drying out. <laughs> um, and it's bath salts. So if you want to check that out, please do. Um, let's see what else. My Patreon is always linked in the description box below. It's just 3737 on my phone. So if you click this little button, it's the description box and it will pop up my prices, what I offer, it pops up my Etsy shop, my son's channel. If you feel so guided, check out his channel because he works very hard on his channel. And you know, when you guys are just getting started on YouTube, like um, every subscriber helps, every like, every share. So, and I'm grateful for all of your guys' like, share, subscriptions. Um, if you want to join me on Patreon, that's in my description box below as well. Um, my tip jar is down there if you guys want to tip me. As you know, this is my only job. This is what I do. I do tarot. I'm a tarot reader. There's nothing else that I do. This is what I love to do. Okay. So, um, you know, every little bit helps. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. Um, what else? I think that's it. Check out my new products, guys. They are amazing. And, you know, everything is, is all natural in the bath salts. They have... Um, Peach blossoms in them, and pink peonies, and grapefruits oil, uh, bergamot oil, and they smell like heaven. Um, everything is activated for tantric sexuality and romance. Oh, and they're to die for, bitch. So try them. Okay, I love you, Aries. Bye.